Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Shire and this is the finale of season three for our 60 year dynasty here. You can see in fourth place in the American East right now, we are number six overall. Not too great of a record, one and three. Uh, we were able to get that victory over Tulane last video. Now you can see going over the awards finalist for the year. Not too many people from East Carolina. We had a pretty good year, but uh, you know what's going on here? What's going on here? Uh, the O'Brien Award just going through. Now we got the Walker Award. Surprised that Ginn isn't in there. Uh, hopefully we can get him some more touches next year, get him in the running. Uh, Hollis not in the Bolitnikoff either. We got the Mackey, though. Number three, Bryce Williams for the Mackey. So just going through, this will be the final game of the season for us. Hopefully get into a bye. Hopefully can get past Cincinnati. Uh, Going to be pretty tough. They are a pretty good team in our division, as you can see. Putting up some good numbers there. They do have some visiting prospects, too. A couple of defensive ends and then a cornerback. Their running back looks hurt, though. Only 177 yards on the year. That's pretty... Man, pretty bad there. Keith looking good. We are playing in the snow as well. I used to play a Cincinnati a few times as well too. I used to used to really enjoy playing a Cincinnati, one of my favorite teams to use. Uh, but now we're going to be playing at home against them. They are number two in the East standing. So hopefully we can squeak out a victory here potentially go to a bowl game not going to be playing for the AAC, AAC championship though but that's it for me for right now let's go back to the guys in the booth for the introductions Cincinnati, this is Nipper Stadium. And now it's time for the coin toss. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calorie. Enjoy everything. All right, so first play, we're going to be throwing it in the snow. And can't hold on to it. Cody Keith, though, pretty good little season. Over 3,500 yards, 27 touchdowns. Pretty good crossover here from last year. But now, here we go. The man breaking that tackle, running hard in the snow. Again, saying, get off me. That was the hardest five-yard run ever. <laughs> Only five yards there. We get Jones on the slant there. Zay Jones, I messed up, and I said he was a Raider in the last episode. I forgot he plays for the Jacksonville Jaguars. I should know that because I am a Jaguars fan. I lived in Jacksonville for a few years. So uh, Jose Mason getting in, freshman Jose Mason. Handing it back off again. Nice moves there. 16-yard run. Just blowing through the line there. Boop, 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 saying, get off me. There we go. So we got this little good drive going on. Cody just slinging it today. There we go. Nice, <laughs> nice juke move there by Zay Jones. 10 yards. Saying, get out of my face there. Don't you know. Sure hands, Zay Jones catching the ball. Whoop. And then play action. Can we get into the end zone? No. Our man, tight end Williams, couldn't catch it, but that's all right. We got Jose Mason. Four yard touchdown run going up against Cincinnati in their house here in the snow. Then I missed this one, but we ended up getting the ball back and. We ended up getting the big touchdown. Up 14 to nothing. We get the ball back again. Hand it off to our man. Get off me. Big <laughs> big time stiff arm spin move. 12-yard rush there. Again, already nine rushes, 73 yards. Zay Jones again, just right up the middle, 21 yards. Hand it off again. 
Oh, get behind your blocker. There we go. Can we make this guy mix? Oh, trying to make the man mix. Miss there. I don't know why I keep on saying mix. 23 yards, over 100 yards total today now on the back, on the legs of our man again. Now we just bring in Jose Mason again, big bruiser. We got gin and juice there. Jose Mason, touchdown number two on the day, taking us up 21 to nothing. Cody just slinging it there. Oh, Hollis doing Corey Hollis things. 20-yard reception. Where are we going to go? Probably should have went with A, but hey, Corey Hollis was open. We just throw it up to him. He's a sure bet. 20 yards there. Over 40 yards on the day. Can we get that blocker? Swoop in. Back out. Oh, come on. We wanted that touchdown bad for our man again. In and off the year, right? He already has almost 140 yards on the day. That touchdown would have been great there. 21 to nothing at halftime, but then we just screw up there. Let them score 21 points unannounced. But we're still up by one touchdown. Keel just can't get it done right now. He's just slinging every hunk of junk he can, trying to get his team back in the lead. Once again, trying to go up. No, sir. No, sir, says Hawkins. So we end up getting the defensive stop, just handing it off to Ginn. We're just going to run the clock out. We end up winning 28-21. Big time win for our boys here. And the ball game's over. The Pirates get the win, 28-21. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14. All right, so going up against Cincinnati, our AAC foes in the snow, getting the work done. Again, almost 200 yards, no touchdowns, though. Mason ended up getting those touchdowns for him today. Zay, big game, almost 100 yards, one touchdown. Corey Hollis, 59. Not a lot of passing today in the snow. Didn't feel super comfortable with that. Uh, got a couple tackles for loss. Anderson, Bigger, and Smith. Old Zeke Biggs. Got a forced fumble by Simmons as well. As you can see, Jameis Winston in the lead for the Heisman here. I don't have revamped. I wish I did. Uh, so we're just going through, going old school here. Florida State, number one. TCU, Ohio State. Texas at number five, UConn slipping up there at number six, uh, Alabama seven, Stanford, Florida, Vanderbilt at number 10 there, Georgia Tech going down after losing to Georgia, West Virginia, Oklahoma, Wisconsin, Notre Dame, UCLA, Georgia jumping up there, Georgia Tech jumping up from 18, Ohio in there as well. Look at that, Arizona, Illinois, NC State. We get a pair of recruit or a couple of recruits there. Ryan Williams going to be big on the line for us. Uh, also, Mike Matthews and Kyle Jenkins there at defensive tackle. So, really needed those. Jameis Winston ends up winning the Heisman. Surprise, surprise. Uh, probably going to lead Florida State into a national championship. Pretty sure that's what happened in real life. I should know that as well, again, too, because Florida State is another team that I loved from living in Jacksonville. So, uh, but. That'll do it for season number three. 2015 is in the books. Jameis Winston is your Heisman winner. And FIU wins the Conference USA. Look at that, 11-2. and two. UConn ends up beating Navy for the AAC championship. Alabama takes down Florida for the SEC. 
San Diego State and Colorado State there winning the Mountain West. San Diego State wins the Mountain West. UCLA wins the Pac-12. Florida State loses to Georgia Tech for the AA, or for the <laughs> ACC championship. Wisconsin takes down Ohio State, and Ball State gets taken down by Ohio for the MAC there. Uh, but that'll do it for season number three. Hopefully we get into a bowl game. I'll let you guys know. Hopefully that'll be in the next episode. But consider giving it a like, a follow, a subscribe, everything. Leave a comment. Hope you have a great day. See you in the next one. Goodbye.